climate change has made some disasters more common. It has changed the precipitation and temperature patterns all over the world. With increasing global surface temperatures, the possibility of more droughts and increased intensity of storms will likely occur. As more water vapor is evaporated into the atmosphere, it becomes fuel for more powerful storms to develop. This increase in the temperature due to global warming has led to the phenomenon of glacial melting and flooding. Once the glacier melts, there can be a sudden release of water which results in a glacial lake outburst flood or GLOF. An event like this unleashes huge amounts of water. These glacial floods have a huge potential for damage. They can wreak havoc on villages, agricultural areas and infrastructure. The Himalayas have about 9,600 glaciers with the largest reserves of water in the form of ice and snow outside the polar regions. Here, the eastern Himalayan region seems more prone to GLOF events. The state of Sikkim alone shows the presence of 320 glacial lakes. Sikkim also falls in zone 4 of the Indian seismic chart and earthquakes here are likely to trigger GLOFs. And so, institutes like the Pune-based Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDAC, have focused on using technology to track GLOF events in the state of Sikkim. Since last three decades, CDAC has been working on indigenous solutions of national importance and GLOF early warning system is one such example which is first of its kind in the country. The entire system is developed in-house and even the water level sensor which senses the changes in the water level in the glacial lake were indigenously developed by CDAC. Let's explore the mechanism of a GLOF in more detail. As they retreat, glaciers leave behind moraines, accumulation of boulders, stones or other debris in the valley. This leads to the formation of moraine dammed lakes. Such moraines often contain a melting ice core built from transported rock debris. Why is there an outburst? This can be triggered by several factors. Ice or rock avalanches, the collapse of the moraine dams due to the melting of ice buried within, the washing out of fine material by springs flowing through the dam, piping, earthquakes or sudden inputs of water into the lake example through heavy rains or drainage from the lakes further up glacier. These floods have already caused hundreds of fatalities across the world, destroying downstream communities and stunting the socio-ecological integrity in their wake. So teams at CDAC have been monitoring and tracking the lakes. They use satellite imagery to analyze change in these lakes. On a pilot basis, water level sensors have been deployed in a few glacial lakes in the state of Sikkim to help in the monitoring. The GLOF analysis is done with the help of three sub-tools, lake information, simulation and the sensor information. Lake information gives basic information about the glacial lake, while the simulate module gives information regarding the GLOF simulation progress and the outputs of the simulation. The model is capable of presenting flood simulation, inundation information and flood arrival time in the event of a GLOF. The sensor information module gives basic information about the sensors deployed at the glacial lakes for monitoring water levels. Each sensor has a sensor ID linked to the lake ID. These solutions have been built under the National Supercomputing Mission of Ministry of Electronics and IT and DSD, Government of India. And since they require huge amount of compute and storage, they will be provided by the supercomputing systems built under NSM. The country's largest and fastest 210 AI petaflop supercomputer, Param Siddhi AI, at CDAC will also be very extensively used for this purpose. Data shows that many lakes in Sikkim have been increasing in size and volume since 1965. 
the area has increased significantly and this indicates the lakes are important from the disaster point of view. In addition, new lakes have also developed due to glacier retreat and melting. However, with this early warning system developed by CDAC, the Sikkim government and authorities can take the necessary steps to ensure that there is preparation on the ground to plan for and mitigate the effects of any disaster. The all-weather sensors are completely made in India by CDAC. The decision support software as well as the GLOF simulation models are all based on open source models fully developed by CDAC. Even the data transmission which is taking place is through the Indian communication satellites. So therefore, it is truly and holistically uh, completely made in India and made for India solution.